Hello, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Volvo Christian, and also welcome back to this glorious S60 in the Polestar Engineer version. Now, doesn't this look just awesome? With the Swedish gold calipers and also the Swedish gold seat belts. Just marvelous. What do you think? I think it looks so darn good. Especially now when it's all clean and washed again. But anyway, today's topic are the electric range and performance of this uh, S60 Polestar engineered. So this is a late Modlia 22, so the extended range or Modlia 22.5 if you will. And that's a combination of uh, the petrol engine in front, uh, powering the front axle, and that's delivering 310 horsepower. And then we have the enhanced electric motor in the rear, powering the rear axle, and that's on 145 horsepower. That gives us a system power of 455 horsepower. We have a battery in the floor, the updated 3 layer 18.8 kilowatt hours and 14.9 uh, usable. And for today, we are only going to use the electric motor and a battery and see how far I managed to drive all electric in today's conditions with this S60 Polestar engineered. We are running on uh, the winter setup, so we got a 19 inch forged Polestar engineered alloys wrapped in Continental Viking contact tires and they are in 235 40 19 if you can see this and the temperature uh, has been like 1 degrees and 0 degrees Celsius today so it's not uh, ideal conditions. The W LTP figures for uh, the S60 in the extended extended range of 22.5 are actually a massive 94 kilometers. But we're not going to reach that today. It's too darn cold, and we have also been dri uh, driving on uh, wet roads for most of the time. I've primarily uh, been driving on uh, local small roads but I had a little stretch or two on uh, the highway but maximum speed in this test has been uh, like 85 km per hour so we will now uh, after we just admire this look maybe we can turn on the lights look at this so we will now uh, jump back to uh, earlier today when I started uh, at home and you can follow the journey as we go all the way to the end to see if I uh, how I managed to uh, get this on today the estimation when I started uh, earlier today was uh, 62 kilometers when I started in the garage and uh, earlier uh, this week usually when I started uh, in the morning uh, while driving to work it's been in the high 60 and low 70. The highest estimation I've seen was like 71 kilometers but then uh, suddenly it got uh, colder when we were approaching the weekend so let's see. I hope you will enjoy this video and we will you will join me now in my garage. We are starting here uh, in my garage. The S60 has been charging overnight. You can now disconnect. The car is really dirty. After Wash it slightly later. See if we can get it to stay here while I record. I will fix that afterwards. Let's jump in. Let's see, let's see. We got the estimation of 60 kilometers down here in the display. 
that will increase when I start up and shift to pure mode. I can now reset the trip computer. And then I probably have to also change my um, language. Let's see, system language, English. So, as you see, average fuel consumption resets. Let's start it up. And then, changing over to pure mode. And then we get an estimation of 62 kilometers. The temperature outside is one degree Celsius. So, it's on the cold side today. So, let's get moving. Hello, hello. You are joining me for a little uh, update. I have just arrived in uh, downtown Oslo. Just parked up here to uh, grab uh, some pictures. But I see now that the car is absolutely filthy, so I would probably skip over that. Find myself a place to wash the car. But this is what happens when you have a white car in Norwegian winter. I think I'm flushing the car uh, every other day now. It still looks like this. But let's take a little update. Let's see here. You see my uh, estimated range. I'm now down to 21 kilometers. I'm not sure if you can see this. Let's jump around. So 21 kilometers. And as we enter the trip consumption you see I have driven 44 kilometers so if we do 21 plus 44 almost 45 so we get 60 uh, 66 so that's pretty good it looks like I'm beating the at least the estimation that's washer fluid so connect it again and then we will keep on driving and you will join me for the next part 
I will take some more driving. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, what happened here? Let's see. I will take some um, city driving now, and then I will head out of the, the city again. And see how long this takes me. We have reached uh, the end of the line for this electric uh, range test. Our battery uh, just completed. And I was just rolling into this location here at Fornebu. Beautiful uh, location actually. So let's see how uh, this electric range test turned out. As you see, my battery indication are uh, completely out. But if I put it in gear, you can see I can still cruise uh, probably a couple of meters further, but nothing uh, major. And here's the results. I hope you can see this on the camera. I can go in slightly further. So see, I managed to drive uh, 64 kilometers, all electric, before my range estimation was down to um, no indication and it's just a matter of uh, seconds before uh, the petrol engine will engage so that was it for this uh, range test 64 kilometers i managed to uh, beat the car's estimation but didn't manage to uh, beat the wltp but as you see the temperature still at one degrees and uh, the roads today has been uh, mostly wet the whole day and I've driven on both local roads and also a little stretch of highway here at the end so that's it for this range test I really hope you enjoy enjoy this uh, short video now it's time to give uh, the S60 a proper washing so thanks it thanks again see you in the next video take care and bye bye